Hey guys, Classic Homer here, and we are starting at the title screen. Why? Because I'm pretty sure once I load up my file, we'll be treated to a cutscene. So here we are, zero deaths, all the dungeons done, and it's just like my other run of the game from whenever it was I actually did it originally, only we have my name. And here we are running right into the Temple of Time to find someone who's been waiting on us. Creepy. Oh, it's just Sheik. Sheik's always creepy. And we're apparently going to be known as the Hero of Time if we haven't already been. And then everyone's going to mistake all the links from all the other games as being the Hero of Time because of how popular this game is. Ah, uh, it's just the way of things, I guess. Oh no! Not another legend! No! Ah, uh, crap. <sighs> no, they tell you the same story a lot. Ah, uh, I can't even tell this one to speed up. It's, it's like back when Zelda was talking to us. That's terrible. That's horrible. Yes, the Triforce it. It will do what the person tells it to do. It is a completely neutral entity. As we know, power was encouraged. It's not like any of us have, you know, not played the Zelda game before. I think. I hope. So, I have an interesting, I don't know, theory question about this. What if Link had found the Triforce instead of Ganon? Because, obviously Ganon got it, and got the Triforce's power, because, well, Ganon's an evil bastard who only wants power. But, what if Link got it, because, I don't know, is Link supposed to be, like, the embodiment of everything? I mean, that's always what I thought. It's just that, well, he never seems to get there before, you know, b the big bad. And why is it that the Triforce never does anything? Like, it never actually grants the user any power other than plot point. Oh, right, I spoiled this, you know. Five seconds or so before Sheik actually said it. Whoops. Yeah. We kind of... I kind of told everyone else that they ready, Sheik. Yeah, that... What do the Triforce parts actually do for you? Granted, you can, you know, make a wish on them, basically, but... Uh, okay, so we have the Triforce of Courage. Why don't we have special Triforce of Courage powers? I mean, the gameplay didn't change at all. Oh, look. There's the other Triforce. It didn't change at all from being a kid to an adult. Oh, also, Sheikah Zelda. Whoa! I just wish that you got, like, I don't know, something. An extra ability that was based on the fact that you had the Triforce of Courage. Just my opinion, it never will happen. Well, it ne has not happened in any of the games. You're not going to tell us another long-winded story, are you? Damn it! At least this one doesn't have the same stupid rain scene to Triforce. I mean, really, how many times have they used that? Yay! Monochrome! No sound effects beyond the horse and rain, either. Uh, at least that one didn't take forever. Yeah, so 
Zelda. Mm, go! Master Sword, Sacred Realm, Spirit, Seven Years. Ganef <laughs> Ganondorf, Evil, Blah, Rules Everything. We screwed it all up. It's all our fault. <laughs> and now she's ex well, not extremely happy. She's just glad that we're back and, you know, because Link's awesome. He's going to take care of everything. Zelda's just going to kind of um do nothing. Sit back and let the other Triforce do all the work. Why? I don't know. Oh, right. She's going to give us this. This is important. Woot, Arrow of Light. Which, I don't know. They've been using this in all the games since this one. And all the time before that, it was a Silver Arrow, which... Uh, I guess it's kind of a take your pick sort of thing. Do you want what's been considered in mythological stuff to be a way of killing evil, which is apparently silver? I mean, come on, silver bullets, silver arrows? Or do you want the holy and blessed arrow of um, earth shattering doom? No, the arrow's not doing this. And owned. She is encased in a large rupee now. I think Zelda might be worth a whole 200. Woo! No, those are silver. And that is probably going to screw the capture card up with all those really bright lights. No, no. It looks like it's holding up. I'm amazed. Amazed at how easily Zelda is defeated. Really, you have the Triforce of Wisdom. Why can't you do something with... Ah! Why is the Triforce completely pointless except for beyond plot? Or, no, except for just in plot. It's beyond plot that it is useless. Alright, so we obviously can't stand for Ganon's bullcrap going on here. We're going to go have to take care of it. Also... That triangle-ish thing on the wall up there. That thing. Does that look like the Star Trek symbol to anyone else? Like, at least vaguely so? I, I don't know. Just me. Okay, guys. So, yeah. If there is an abrupt cut there, it's because I recorded that section, and then it kept going, and it kept sucking. Like, everything after the, uh, big conversation between Link and Zelda was downhill. Both in commentary and in gameplay. I know the only gameplay before then was pressing the A button over and over, but still. Yeah, somehow I sucked that bad in here. It's not that I was, like, dying a lot, it's just I constantly forgot everything. Absolutely everything. So, let's try this again. And we're going to be making a quick bridge here to get into Ganon's castle and his Tower of Doom and, you know, go save the world because this giant, you know, bed of fire underneath us really won't serve as a way to get across to anything. Also, why is... why is that floating? I'm not going to deny the badassness of a floating castle like that, but seriously, Ganon... Um, did you make this in Minecraft? Because that's really the only other place I see a lot of floating islands. Still freaking amazing. Also, I love this bridge. You know why? Because it's a rainbow bridge. You know what that makes it? A reference to Dragon Quest. Sort of. It probably wasn't intended to be, but I'm going to call it one anyway. Alright, I'm going to get Nehru's love off there because I'm... Probably not going to be needing that until... 
a little bit into the final boss fight. I don't want to spoil exactly what my plans are for that. So, here we are inside of Ganon's Tower Castle Doom thing machine. And, yeah, we need to take out these six barriers. I guess it really doesn't matter where we start as long as we end up, you know, getting them all. Let's put this on. And, ah, that's what was in here. I was gonna say, this thing seems to be too peaceful. Like, we're missing something. We were missing that guy being a jerk. Light the torches. Pick up the arrows because I don't want to run out of ammo. And then the last one is up there. Let's see if we can't shoot this. Okay. There, good. Didn't have to waste my magic with any more than I did with the dense fire by using fire arrows. That would have sucked. You know what? This is the forest area. Let's do this. And I think I'll need these in this next room. And I think, I mean, I kind of know I will. I'm gonna wait for that fan to start blowing. And let's go. Whoosh! And now let's take the damn boots off before I... S I know if I wear them any longer than this, I'm gonna walk myself off the edge. Like a moron. So, we need to take care of that guy. And get the long shot out. Let's make this jump. Um, let's be extra careful here. Let's just go to this platform and now the one with the switch. Okay, that wasn't so bad. You know, I typically play platforming games anyway, but for whatever reason, this is one of the rooms I did incredibly bad at. Just everything about it. I know now this thing's going to be right in my way. Jump! And... I don't need to jump to that one. I'll have to get it. No, I won't. Jump! I was forgetting this platform over here. Yeah, the one on the right. I forgot the platform existed, but I remember the silver rupee being there. I thought I was gonna have to, you know, get blown by the fan. Okay. Land. Jump. Okay, there. Made it through the room without a hitch this time. Last time was hilariously bad, and I'm not even going to keep that stuff around for blooper episodes. Because when I say it's hilariously bad, I mean it's more just pathetic. So, what we need to do to deactivate that barrier is just shoot all of these. Now, of course, there's one for every area. So, yeah, there's a lot of running around to be done in here. So, we finally see Saria again. You know, for the first time since she was made a sage. So much for Link's best friend being a, you know, big plot point of the game. I mean, I guess she's more so than most other NPCs, but come on. Okay, this is a little out of order, but I do want to do the spirit barrier next. And... There's just too much, uh, item switching in this area. I think this guy takes two. Whoops. Pull out another bomb. Yeah, I say that I think he takes two and try to pull a bomb out, but the game refuses to actually, you know, heed my commands. Come on, I want to get this without having to stop the thing. And this one too. Roll! I'm not gonna make a Star Fox reference. I refuse. No! Damn it. That's okay, there's a heart in this room. Okay, fine. Don't grab it from the side. Grab it from the side. Grab the statue! Okay. We're just gonna pull this forward. Push it... back, I guess. <laughs> Hit the other way was forward. And... oh, that was a horrible idea. Well, let's just do this. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this is an extra bad idea. Damn it, game. Well, let's grab the silver rupee. Just, of course, gonna stop me dead in my tracks, and then I'm gonna get hit again. Well, that's why that was such a bad idea. However, heart. 
trap. Another trap. Double trap. Okay. Patience. It's actually useful. And... Let's... Let's just do a jumping strike and... Die, die, die. Your turn. See, it's not so bad. Now, if I can aim this properly... Which... I did. Not. Crap. I hate bomb shoes. I really do. Okay. And what you could have done is hit this one from the other side with... For those of you who use swords, you could use a spun and yeah, a spun and attack and or you could have laid a bomb and blown it up from the side as well. Whatever works. And this is the reason I still have the mirror shield on. That and I need my fire arrows. Cause I don't really know of any other way to get this. I suppose dense fire would reach it. Are you guys randomized? Nope. Yeah, before I actually end up trying every single one of them before I got the right one. Which, I mean, I guess there's not too much you can do about that. It's just a matter of how long it's been since you played the game and how much you remember. Or how much of a guide you're looking at, in some cases. But I'm not doing any of that. I haven't done this in... I don't know, a year? A little more than? So, yeah, that was... That was kind of a, dis a disaster room for me. But, now we have Nabooru's help to get rid of another part of this stupid barrier. And, at this point, I don't think I need my mirror shield for anything else. I'm mostly sure. And... It might be kind of weird jumping around this much, but the next one of these barriers I feel like taking down is the Shadow Barrier, because that's the last one that has anything very complicated in it. And you can't do the Fire one until you do the Shadow one anyway. For reasons that I will make apparent shortly. So let's just run in here. And... We need Fire Arrows again. We'll need these. We'll probably want these and this. First things first, shoot this torch. Uh, next thing, I need to do this while I'm still thinking about it. Equip the Hailing Shield. Don't get hit by the bubble. Jump all the way across here. Hope to God that the Like Like will not toss you into the pit. Or at least not toss me into the pit. Most of you guys won't have to worry about this. There we go. My shield is gone. Oh no! Stop. I don't want to waste my arrows on him. However, I do have plenty of bombs. So let's just throw bombs at him until he dies. There, that's not too bad. Throw the pot over there. Oh no! No! Well, whatever, I can pick it up without equipping it. That way, if I have to get rid of it again, I can. Ha ha! And... Let's go ahead and shoot Torch again. Don't fail? Yeah, not fail! So, we want to hop over here. Over here. And this is, of course, the part that I was forgetting. We need to come down to this thing and hit this switch. Which was really incredibly dumb. I forgot about this entirely. I thought you got what's in this chest in a different room, and uh, made a f it made for something of a disaster area. You know, I'm just going to use that phrase for all the stupid tower. But here we have the golden gauntlets. Ta-da! We have even more power. Sorry. I feel like 
being overly dramatic. Oh my god, don't run off the edge. I nearly had to redo this room again. And that would make me, uh, unhappy. Okay, we need the hammer, and the light arrows, and the long shot. This is, of course, a rusted switch. Down it goes. You could take the other long winding path all the way around, but... Really? Why? There's a torch. No, get the torch. Damn you, game. You can get the torch. I'm not kidding about this. Okay, don't fall in the hole. Okay, there. It's easier to do that if maybe a little risky, but I don't feel like having to walk across those narrow paths. I trust myself even less with that. <clears throat> so, that's half of the barrier down. Not too horrible, I guess. Uh, what's bad is I don't remember how long that cutscene took. Because, well, yeah, like I said before, this is kind of recorded in two different segments. So, I might want to end this episode here and then meet you guys next time for the rest of these barriers. So, I think that's what we'll do. So, yep, classic Homer signing out. Next time, the barrier goes down. See you then.